This is a tutorial on quadratic inequalities. A quadratic inequality is just like a quadratic equation, except we have an inequality sign. So we have a less than sign or a greater than sign, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. These are all quadratic inequalities. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is graphing a quadratic inequality. Here I have y is less than x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now to graph this, we're first going to pretend that this is a y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. And we're going to graph this line first. Now if I want to graph this, it's usually easiest to find the axis of symmetry and our vertex. Remember our axis of symmetry has the equation x is equal to negative b over 2a. Our b would be a negative 4, so we'd have a negative negative 4. And that's over 2 times our a, which is just 1, so it would be 2 times 1. A negative negative 4 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2, so that's just equal to 2. And our axis of symmetry then has the equation x is equal to 2. Well, I can draw that. It'll look something like that. And now to find my vertex, I just plug in x is equal to 2 in for x to find the y-coordinate of my vertex. Because remember, the vertex lies on this axis. So our vertex has an x-coordinate of 2. So if we plug that in, we get y is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. Well, 2 squared is 4, and minus 4 times 2 is a negative 8, and then plus 4. 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So our vertex then is the point 2, 0. And I can plot that. It's right here on the x-axis. Now we're going to need some other points to plot this line. I'm going to try to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. So if I plug that in, I get y is equal to 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 4. Well, 0 squared is 0 and negative 4 times 0 is 0. So we just have y is equal to 4. So we have another point at 0, 4. And we need one more point. So I'm going to plug in x is equal to 4. And if I do that, I get y is equal to 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 4. 4 squared is 16. A negative 4 times 4 is a negative 16 and plus 4 again. This is just equal to 4, so we have the point 4, 4. Now I can plot 0, 4. It's right here. And I can plot 4, 4. It's right about there. So we have three points to plot this line. But we have to be careful now because our equation is not y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. We were just pretending it was. It's really y is less than x squared minus 4x plus 4. This less than sign means this line that we're going to draw is actually not part of the solution. It's just the boundary for the solution. So if we draw that line, we have to draw it with a dotted line. So it's going to look something like that. Now we're almost done. This is an inequality, but we need to determine what side of this line lies our solutions? Are our solutions inside the parabola or outside? So we pick a point on either side and we test it. I'm going to pick the origin because it's easy to solve. We just plug in 0 for x and 0 for y, and we plug those into our original equation. So if we do that, we'll have 0 for y, and it needs to be less than 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 4. Well, 0 squared is 0, and 4 times 0 is 0, so we have 0 needs to be less than 4. Well, 0 is less than 4, so that point works, and that point is part of our solution. So that means all the points outside of this parabola are also solutions. So we would shade in everything on the outside of this parabola, and that would look something like that. 
So this is the graph of y is less than x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now what if we wanted to graph a system of inequalities? Here we have two different inequalities, y is greater than x squared minus 4x plus 4, and y is less than or equal to negative x squared plus x plus 6. Well, we just graph these individually, so we'll do the first one. And remember, we pretend this is an equal sign to begin with. We have y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. Again, I'm going to try to find my vertex and axis of symmetry. We get that from the formula x is equal to negative b over 2a. If we plug in b, that's a negative 4, so we have a negative negative 4, over 2 times a, which is just 1. This is 4 over 2, or just 2. So if our vertex has an x-coordinate of x is equal to 2, we need to find the y-coordinate, and we just plug that in for x. So we'll get y is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times 2 is a negative 8, and plus 4, that's equal to 0. So again, our vertex is at 2, 0. We can graph that. It's right here. Now we're going to need some other points. So I'm going to plug in x is equal to 0. If I do that, I get y is equal to 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 squared is 0. So y is just equal to 4. So we have the point 0, 4. And that one's right up here. Next we'll plug in the point x is equal to 4. If we do that we get y is equal to 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 4. 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 4 is a negative 16 and then plus 4 again. So our y would just be equal to 4. So we have the point 4, 4. And I can plot that one too. It's right about there. Now, our inequality here has a greater than sign, so we're going to connect these points with a dotted line, and it's going to look something like that. And then our last step will be to test the point on either side of that line. I'm going to choose the origin. If I do that, I can plug in 0, 0 for y and x. So if I do that, I'll have y. It's got to be greater than x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we'd have 0 has to be greater than 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 4. This is 0 and this is 0. So we end up with 0 needs to be greater than 4. Well, 0 is not greater than 4. So that means the origin is not a valid point for this inequality. And that means, since the origin is outside of our parabola, that means all the points on the inside of the parabola are valid solutions for this inequality. So we would shade in everything inside the parabola. It would look something like that. Now let's graph our second equation. We have y is less than or equal to negative x squared plus x plus 6. Again, we're going to pretend that this is y is equal to negative x squared plus x plus 6. If we do that, we can find the axis of symmetry in the vertex from the equation x is equal to negative b over 2a. Or b would be 1, so it would be negative 1 over 2 times a, which is negative 1. So this is a negative 1 over negative 2, or just 1 half. So we have an axis of symmetry of x is equal to 1 half. And that means our vertex has a coordinate or an x-coordinate of 1 half. So to find our y-coordinate, we plug that back into our equation. So if we do that, we'll have y is equal to negative 1 half squared plus 1 half plus 6. 1 half squared is 1 fourth times this negative out here. That's a negative 1 fourth plus 1 half plus 6. A negative 1 fourth plus 1 half is a positive 1 fourth plus 6. So this is 6 and 1 fourth. So our vertex then is at 1 half, 6 and 1 fourth. And I can plot that point. 
It's right about there. Now we need some other points. If I look at this equation here, y is equal to negative x squared plus x plus 6, we can factor this into a negative x plus 3 and an x plus 2. So if I factor that and I set this equal to 0, I can find my x-intercepts just by setting each one of these parentheses equal to 0. So if I have a negative x plus 3 is equal to 0, I can subtract 3 from both sides. I'll have negative x is equal to negative 3. Divide by negative 1 on both sides and I'll get x is equal to 3. If I take my other parentheses and set that to 0, I get x plus 2 is equal to 0. Subtract 2 from both sides and we get x is equal to negative 2. So here are my roots or my solutions. There are also my x-intercepts. So this is the point 3, 0 and negative 2, 0. And I can plot those. They're right here and right here. Now looking closely, this is a less than or equal to sign. So since it's a less than or equal to, that means the boundary line that we're going to draw here is part of the solution set. So we're going to draw it with a solid line this time and it should look something like that. Now our last step is to test a point on either side of this line. I'm again going to pick the origin. It's usually easy to solve for. So we're going to plug 0 for y and 0 for x into this equation. So we'll get 0 needs to be less than or equal to negative 0 squared plus 0 plus 6. Well that's 0 and that's 0. So we have 0 needs to be less than or equal to 6. Well that makes sense. And since the origin's inside of our parabola, that means all the points inside the parabola are also solutions. So we would shade everything inside this parabola. So it would look something like that. Now, the system of inequalities, or the solution for this system of inequalities, is all of this purple region right here. That is the solution for both of these inequalities.